Noah is chosen for this moment because he walked in rhythm with God. And whenever God is about to do something major, he puts his hand on somebody who will follow him through a storm. I want to know this morning, do you have the courage to follow God through a storm? Maybe the prerequisite to be used by God is if you have the will to follow him through a storm. Noah followed God through a storm and finds his bigger purpose. Joseph follows God through a storm and saves his people. Moses followed God through a storm called Pharaoh and set the captives free. David follows God through a storm called Saul and becomes a man at the God's own heart. Jesus follows God through a storm called Calvary and gives us life and life abundantly. And maybe what is going, is going on is God is testing you to see if you are the one who will follow the path that God creates to your purpose are you the one who won't quit when the storms start blowing are you the one who will stand firm and trust God when hell was breaking loose are you the one who will trust God when cancer gets in your body maybe your storm is the path to your purpose maybe your storm is the road to your new life after all it didn't kill you holler at your neighbor say neighbor everything I've been through it couldn't kill me now find somebody who ain't sitting there like they ain't never been through a storm before and say neighbor it didn't kill you maybe your storm is the route to a renewed life maybe your storm is the lane to your best life maybe your storm is just a testing ground to see if you're ready for your ultimate purpose major testimonies have been created in major storms major testimonies have been created in stressful seasons major, major purpose has been proven in major pain it was a storm called Saul that made David a better David. It was a storm called the lion's den that gave Daniel his testimony. It was a storm called the fiery furnace that gave brothers his brothers a better life. What's your storm called? Is it called sickness? Is it called unemployment? Is it called crazy family? Is it called a messed up mind? Is it called HIV? Is it called diabetes? Is it called cancer? It can't have you. Can I find somebody who can thank God you're still standing without it your, your life will be nothing to shout about holler at your neighbor say neighbor I got something to shout about I've got something to scream about I've got something to dance about I've got something I need some folk who can praise God in a storm take about 15 seconds of my preaching time and go to thanking God that it didn't kill you